hello everyone and welcome to this short little video. Today SSO released a new update with the Equestrian Festival, which is super fun. But they also released uh, their new like uh, horse purchasing window. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's part of their new the new initiative to make uh, the relationship between us and the horses more uh, special. So it feels more like actually buying an individual um, and not just any like pixel horse. And they gave this new feature out to half the players, at least that's what they said. And I was lucky enough to have it on my account. So I thought I would just show you guys a little bit how it works. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to actually buy the horse because I already bought this horse earlier today. And there's not any other horses I'm buying at the moment. Um, but I will be able to show you a little bit how it works. So let's go! So the new feature is only shown for the horses that are like the limited ones for the festival. So these ones at Jorvik Stables and the ones at Moorland. But because most people are at Moorland, I thought we would check it out here. So the way it works is just like normal, you would click on the horse, but like you can see here, instead of it showing the window with all the information and you clicking on buy this horse, you will see this. And there's a bunch of information that is super interesting. You will see the breed, you will see the generation of the horse, to the left you will see the stats, restrictions, uh, and then on the right is this description that's normally um, in the window about the breed. And then we get to the actually exciting stuff that's new. So first of all, here, change code. You can't really do this now. This is more like in the future when they have uh, a certain breed um, in a specific place and you will click there and you will be able to pick between the different codes, I think. Because I'm pretty sure they said in the monthly blog that they want to do like uh, that maybe there's just one horse displayed for each breed and instead you go in this window and change the coat but then if you would go out you would still see the coat that you chose. Then you can also go to change main and in here you can ch uh, change to all the different mains and you will also see it on the horse immediately how it looks. Which is super nice because like it's always interesting to see how a horse will look in the different main styles. Um, the only thing I wish we could do was rotate the horse because some of the main styles you want to see how it looks on both sides and maybe you want to take a look at the tail. Um, but other than that it's very nice. I think also yeah so now when I change to this main it actually stays on this horse which is cool um, and then you can check out animations so you can check out the walk and the trot canter gallop and fast gallop oh and a special move as well okay that's cool I didn't know that so you can look at all the gates before you buy a horse which I really appreciate because sometimes <laughs> you're not sure about it and you want to see how it looks. Uh, so that's very nice. And then you can go to browse breeds and you will be able to see all the breeds in this area. So right now I can change this one if I want. Yeah, and you can also see in this list here. So you will be able to pick if you want to see a specific one or just all of them. Then you will see this, which is very nice. It will show you if you already own the horse, which for me is normally not a problem. But I know there are some people who buy a lot of horses and they like forget if they bought one or not. And sometimes they accidentally buy a double. <laughs> so that's nice. Uh, and now I'm not going to buy this horse, but you can click here. And then you can immediately, 
before you buy it, choose the age here, if you want, and you can choose the gender. And then when you choose the name, you can search. So if I want an S, S name, you, it will show up here. If I know already, like, oh, I want to name this one uh, blue. I can just type in blue and it will take me to the... And then it will show the last name selected storm. So I will know like, okay, the name is blue storm right now. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Then when you want to buy it, you will click here and it will show a little glow. So it's like, oh my god, you're buying me. Special moment. And then when you do that, um, like I said, I can't show what it looks like, but I'm sure a lot of people will make videos where they show you. Uh, but I do have a screenshot, so it will show you in a pasture, or, well, yeah, in a pasture. And the new horse will come walking towards you, and then you will pet it, and it's like your bonding moment. And then you get to choose if you want to send it to the stables, or if you want to ride it immediately. And if you choose to ride it immediately, then you will end up right where you are, but with the new horse and the same tack. Oh wait, no. No, 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 not the same tack. The tack that you have, I believe, will stay on the old horse, if I remember correctly. So you will just sit here on a naked horse. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much how it works. But I will also show you one little detail. So here, now we're in Moorland, and I just wanted to show you a little of... Um, I just wanted to show you uh, a small detail that we couldn't look at over there. So here, we press on our generation 2, and then there's this information thing, and it will say, this generation of horse is no longer supported, it cannot wear the newest tag, and will not receive any additional work or bug fixes. Which is nice, because... Some people, they may be confused about the generations, or maybe they're new players and they don't really know uh, about it. So now they have a warning, so it's clear about it being an older model that can't wear everything. And then you can see here, where there's different quotes. You can just change it here. Oh, that's interesting. It actually... <laughs> it actually changes this one, so now there's two of them. Which is interesting, but yeah, like I said, I think they said they were planning on doing it so there's only one of the horse. Uh, but now they have all three, just because some people have the old uh, type of buying horses, so they obviously need each one here. Um, so I guess if you go here now, no? Oh, okay, so I get it, so... This is like a toggle thing, so when it says change coat, that's when you have all the different coats down here. And when you press change main, it changes to the main. So it's just like two different types of customization. So yeah, if you wanted to right now, you could make three identical horses standing here. Anyway, that was all for this short video. I hope you liked it and found it uh, interesting if you didn't see the feature yet. I'm sure there's a lot of videos of it, but I thought, why not make my own? If you liked it, I would appreciate a thumbs up, maybe a comment, and I will see you in another video. Bye!